Hey guys, so some pretty interesting content. I don't know if you guys remember this, but Alpha Investment sat down with Mike Waddle when MetaZoo first came out about two years, almost three years ago. And the number one comment two years ago was from Super Sidon. And MetaZoo is never going to take off. Hope they paid you well for all of this. So this comment was left two years ago when he made this video, AIDS like fine wine. So yeah, I think it's interesting how it all played itself out. You in real time can look at Rudy's interview and how Rudy was promoting it until even the bitter end. Even after he learned Mike Waddell made the letter, he still continued to open Hello Kitty boxes and post them on YouTube. Um, some people say, oh, well, the boxes were old, but, I mean, you can choose not to post it, right? I mean, why would you post something from a game that just, just died? You know, it's kind of poor taste, I, I assume. So, anyway, if you watch these interviews, something, like, kind of jumps out at you really right away that there's something called preferential treatment. And we see this for artists, right? Andy, um, Nick's Strength in Pokemon made a great video about how Andy, the current or former or who, whatever he is, CEO of the company when Mike left, he basically favored his girlfriend who was an artist for MetaZoo, allowing her to do these artworks and, and the artist quit because of that favorism. So we have already, you know, favorism of employees or vendors. I guess they were all vendors, not real employees, surprisingly. They were really being underpaid as well. So then we have favorism of these gold medal content, content creators where they would get these gold medals that they would catch them all collectible said they were worth $20 and they would pay you $20 for any of these gold medals. Uh, that's quite interesting. Uh, and then, you know, on top of that, we have Rudy promos, right? And my, my point is if you're a local game store, I get like, okay, this guy support a game. We'll give him a promo one time, maybe two times, maybe. Uh, but not like every single set, man. Because you're just being undercut. And this is exactly what Flesh and Blood. And this is why Rudy isn't promoting Flesh and Blood in the same way. And isn't as positive. He made that video which is now privated or deleted. And that video was actually a Flesh and Blood video. That Flesh and Blood called Rudy. Said take down this video now. And he did exactly what uh, everyone said. He's an alpha. Nah, man, he does exactly what Mike Waddell tells him to do, right? Mike Waddell wants to sit down with Rudy, have an interview. All right. Rudy says, yeah, yeah, man, come to my home. I think this is Rudy's home, right? Maybe it's Mike's home. I, I don't know. But uh, Mike seems way more comfortable, comfortable than Rudy. Mike gives Rudy a list of questions. I'm sure that he's already pre... You know, you know this how this works, right? That when a person gets a list of questions, they only put the questions they want to answer and anything that's actually critical or important. So the reason I can tell you this thing was a rug pull because like look at the questions they ask Mike. They're softball questions. There are no real questions and, and Mike is well prepared. He knows exactly what questions are being asked. I mean he could not look more comfortable. This is not a real interview. This is not a, hey, man, we got you, all right? This is, Mike knows all the questions beforehand. He's probably even written the questions for Rudy to read. Rudy has very little responses, very little engagement. He's just reading questions. Mike is answering questions, and, and that's it. That's it. So no one asks, like, the real question is, I mean, there <laughs> are so many questions that would actually be, more relevant than is there are we going to have a reserve list i mean what i mean the questions about distribution pre-order ip questions questions about you know again gold medal content like rudy from what happens when if rudy ever leaves youtube then what's going to happen to the game right if it's being promoted this way there are a lot of money effing questions that have not been answered and this guy is, oh, sell your FAB and buy on a MetaZoo train. If there is a reserve list, the game is dead on arrival. 
Where's the coffee cup from? Bro, let me run sound. You got like two more years in the platform. Might as well go hard. I mean, yeah. It took me a few, but I finally watched. Nice. Zoo, you, you're funny, man. This stuff and this guy are embarrassing. Yeah, watch the interview, guys. Uh, most people think it's a paid interview. And maybe it is. Maybe it's not. Maybe, I mean, I think Rudy was gifted at the time. What was that? Nine, ten thousand dollar booster box. And he said he would put it in the safe. And but then that was supposedly given to the eighty-two hundred dollar nightfall thing. I'm not really sure about all this. I don't know Meadow Zoo's gone to zero, and it's interesting to look at these old videos, right? And the audio is really, really bad. There's no like, I guess they're not mic'd up. Yeah, I don't seem to be mic'd up. This was back when Rudy would do real interviews. Rudy's not like pumping and dumping at this point in time. He's actually probably just. You can see, like, these are not real questions. It's not a... He's got a sheet of paper stapled, and he's asking questions down the list. And Mike is very well prepared in a, you know, pump and dump manner to... And, and, and that's why I think it was always this way, because preferential treatment, uh, the artists... So, again, some artists were treated better than others. We know this. Some stores were treated better than other stores. Some Discord members were banned and treated better... I mean, you're talking about, let me be 100, you're talking about like a game that's brand new, and the first thing they do is they categorize people. Are you a gold medal content creator, a silver medal content creator, a bronze medal content creator? And I'm going to tell you something that like you guys don't know because you haven't studied it. The majority of these promos just rely on one person. And... And uh, there's like a content creator medal. And it's one dude who has all this medal. It's like a dark, it's like a very dark theme medal. And it wasn't given to a bunch of content creators. It was given to one content creator. And he has like 4,000 or like some unlimited amount. And now slowly, it's finally dripping into the eBay market. I've seen it. And it's the same mother effing seller. And he's got like 400 of them or 100 of them for sale. Um... Guys, guys, let's put our heads together and think about this for a moment. Let's like, no, let's really, really think about this for a moment. That's crazy, my dude, right? And and this was really a pump and dump because you have a very small amount of people with a very large amount of promos, and they're all trying to sell these promos and these bundles. You know, no one ever sells just a booster box, right? None of these content creators, they sell it with their promo, their gold medal supporter, or their supporter. This was a money effing disaster from the very... If you don't believe me, watch... Rudy has at least two videos where he sits Mike Waddell down, or Mike Waddell sits Rudy down, give hands Rudy a piece of paper, and says, hey, read these questions. I'm good. And it's just... None of what they're describing is a TCG. I mean, if you... If you went in there and you thought this was crypto, you wouldn't think that it was not crypto when you left. Let me put it that way. If you went into this interview and you thought it was FTX or Bitcoin or uh, what was that? What's that coin that got dumped? I mean, a lot of coins got dumped. FTX token. If you thought it was something like that, you are 100% not going to be surprised by the language and what they're talking about and the content. None of this has to do with the players playing the actual game. Because that's not important. You know, that's not in, important for the crypto boroughs, right? Anyway, it's a, it's a fascinating interview. I definitely want you guys to watch it because I think it proves all my points in one nutshell. I, I think it proves exactly what I've been trying to say this entire time.